Okay. I sense newness. Newness, martes, miércoles. Newness, nang tayo. No, I sense something that you just got out of. It's almost as if like finally. Oh my, closure. That's one. Um, moving to a new country. Um, quitting a job and finding something new. And just feeling free. There's a sense of freedom. Can be relationship also. And you're just vibing here. It's just like, ah, finally, like, weight over your shoulders. It was an answered prayer. Something reached to a conclusion in your life that you're just grateful for, and you're just feeling this refresh. Okay. And then you focus on the money. <laughs> Queen of Coins, the world, and the Page of Cups. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Leos, let's see. Oh. Okay. Mm. Oh, and I'll be sharing today a um, secret remedy that I have uh, used, and I'm gonna give you a tool that you can use. Okay, um, this practice I've done to get rid of a certain money issues or problem. Okay, and I've tried it. All right. Later, I'll share it at the end of the video. So watch. Okay, stay tuned. Now, let's talk about the Page of Cups. A sense of, like, I feel like this is more of, normally the pages are very creative. So you're finding new love or hope in, with life. You know, falling in love with life. There you go. That's that, that one. Yeah, I think that's the same feeling I have right now. Yes, I'm definitely in love with life. I don't know why. Okay, Page of Cups with the World card. Well, ever since I was diagnosed with multidrug resistant tuberculosis and they told me that I was going to die, which I was dying, I was given two weeks, I fell in love with life after I got cured. Yes, okay. Yeah, in my deathbed, basically. <laughs> yes, I was dying. Um, Page of Cups with the World card right here is like, oh, such a good relief, Sal. Queen of Coins is your energy with regards to... Um, money, your relationship with finances, you know, you want to take care of your bills right now. And I'm going to talk about, of course, how this can be the time where you're going to land it big with your career. I have your chart over here, of course. I set it where Jupiter is already in your 10th house. Okay, it's going to go to Taurus. I do say the Vedic astrology, which is going to be good. Okay, right now it's in your 9th house. Your prayers will be answered, wishes can be fulfilled. It's going to be a good time. Even before going to um, to May, I know this is an April read. Hmm. Now, here's the thing: um, you may have some issues with health, but you've been battling it, and you're gonna be fine. I don't want you to worry or stress about it. Okay, you're gonna be fine. And I feel like it's more related to your eating habits, because the lunar eclipse um, that we had, okay, in March, okay, it's not the solar. The solar is in a different time, of course, just past week. Um, this is about your diet and what you eat. So it doesn't mean like you're eating unhealthy. There's probably foods that does not go well with your um, body composition, right? In, in Ayurveda, there are different um, body types, right? If you're Vata, um, your fire, Agni, you know, all those things. So that's why it's not auspicious for us to have the same diet as, as um, you know, other people. Um, and I feel like you're, you're going you're gonna to be fine, all right? Because the moon is about nurturing. Okay. For others, the moon is credit card, so you may have issues with finances. Now, there are some travels here, eight of ones, but I sense big delay. Okay, If you're moving and relocating, I feel like you are trying to save money for this. I love. So you're trying to uh, you know, get your ducks in a row, basically. Eight of ones and the four of pentacles. Nice. Now, if it's about X, seven of wands of the temperance, there is no reconciliation. So if you're someone who's a cross watcher, I don't sense that the Leo is open for that. Mm -hmm. Seven of wands of the temperance, like, yep, nope, uh, done, okay? So here, from what I'm seeing, seven of wands with the temperance, uh, huh, 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 huh. you're just trying to be patient in life also, but you have no patience with regards to dating. <laughs> I have to say that. No, Saturn and Mars in your seventh house, it costs you to be impatient and you're more practical now. Mars is going to live the, the, the seventh house. You're impatient. You couldn't, you, I, I just don't deal with, I have to be honest. You know, you're going to say like, I don't, I just don't want to deal with stupid. Not that they're stupid. The situation is stupid. I don't, you know, not to call people stupid, but the situation is. Okay. So here comes someone trying to ask for a second chance. Knight of Swords with the Fool. This can go to your favor. 
if you want it because Jupiter is still in the ninth before it goes to the tenth so you kind of have two weeks if you want to give them this luck and opportunity mm -hmm. now you're probably very stressed nine of wands with the ace of pentacles now this one right here is stress about money you see that person like this is a constant worry because with k2 in your second house money is just flying off the you know like it just comes in it's out again it never really stayed are you tired of trying to find which crystal is good for wealth let me help you understand what are the seven crystals that's going to be good for you obsidian garnet citrine yellow sapphire lapis lazuli ruby and jade the problem is all these crystals are very expensive <laughs> What I did is I put all these crystals in a bracelet so now you can use it. All these crystals are going to be good for you. To find out more, visit our website, eatreadlove.me. Yep, that's a problem. And you expect the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah, you want to turn things around financially. You want to be happy. You want to be at least settled. You know, like, you know, not worried about the bills, not worried about this. See, here's that one. Nine of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles. You're about to, I told you, if you wish it, yes. And I feel like there is still time. Oh, I'm going to tell you the remedy. Oh, hold on. So, out of all the seven, okay, crystals that I, no, not seven, I mean, I've tried so many crystals. And I, I, and I follow strict rules with regards to different crystals. This, all this seven that I've shown you guys, it's just crazy expensive. But the effectivity of it, oh, two years. I was out of, out of the, is in the first year? Because mm -hmm. I got all this, but it was so expensive. So I said, it's like, okay, I need it to be, you know, to for everyone to have it as well. You know, if it has helped me, I'm not going to gatekeep this, you know. So these seven gemstones, I created here this Lucky 7 bracelet. It has Lapis Azuli, very good for your relationship, okay. You got Sapphire, of course, um, you know, Sapphire. Ah, it's not Sapphire, okay. Yellow Sapphire I have. Um, you got um, ruby, good for your sign also because, you know, sun rules you and that's a, that's a gemstone for sun. So this is going to be very, very good. Jade, you know, all seven, okay? Now here's the thing. Remember I told the remedy? I'm going to give this for free today. But you have to promise me, you will give this to someone else. You don't get to keep this. You wish the same energy to the person, whoever it is, of course your loved one, that they'll find, you know, solution to their problem with their finances and luck and prosperity will attract, you know, they will attract. Because in astrology, if we want to remedy something, we help other people who has the same problem. And the universe helps us also. Yes. So you don't get to keep this, but this is free. Okay, when you get it, give it to someone. Now this one you get to keep. This is the yellow sapphire. I waited so long for this. Yeah. It's teeny tiny, but I had a GIA, a certified person with certificate for gemstone who studied. Um, this is a real yellow sapphire. It's teeny tiny though, because it's very expensive, but I wanted you to have it. Carry this around with you. Um, in the remaining days, you can be lucky with you know, Jupiter in the ninth house, but when it moves also, because it wants to be in the ninth house, it is very good for the ninth house. Um, what you're thinking and wishing will, can be granted. Nine of cups right here. So... But it goes to your 10th house, your career, you know, you are going to get some sort of exposure, expansion with your job, you know, the way that you make money. This is the best, okay? So you take this with you. Free shipping in the U.S. and we ship to more than 80 countries across the globe. Now here's the thing. I make this myself. And you will always see there's one or two because when I'm recording, someone's going to get it. And I just put a stock every time I finish one. So then... If you see it, go get it. Because if I'm busy, I won't be able to restock it and make it. So, because I, I don't want to overcommit, I get, you know, I get a lot of order. So this one is very, you know, very close and dear to me. Because in my journey, this is a time where I can share. I love nine of cups with the ace of pentacles. You are walking into an abundant life. Now this is starting May, okay, when, with Jupiter. Night round, you can still feel, be, you can still, you can still be lucky. Oh yes, uh, please, uh, yes. You got Empress right here. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. So um, this is a time where you will enjoy luxuries in life. Yes. She is wealthy and healthy. She's an Empress. She attracts. This is you. You're going to get an offer for a pay raise. You know, you're going to get an offer um, of expansion of business. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, and you will be with someone new. Ace of Wands is here. This is gorgeous. I love this. New beginnings. That's what we're here for. So. Thank you. You'll be wealthy, 
with the empress abundant that's why she's just sitting in luxury there and look at this you got two new people if it's an ex it's your choice but this one i feel like you're gonna be very very good with someone new now one thing that jupiter is gonna do once it's in taurus it's it's gonna aspect your second house for finances and savings that's why it's very lucky so need i stress you more that you need to carry a yellow sapphire with you i always wear mine Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll tag this in the corner of this video tomorrow. I hope this luck continues. Ciao.